Let's talk about healthy udders, high quality milk, and how to achieve both. These environmental bacteria are alive and exist in manure, on cow's hair and skin, in the stalls, on the floors, on the units, in the water, on your gloves, on the walls, on your sleeves, on the door handle. Yet you get the point, they're everywhere. And although you can't see microscopic organisms, trust me, they are everywhere. There's only one place milk comes out and bacteria can get in. And that's the opening of the teat end. And that's exactly why the teat end is the most important part of the udder to keep clean. Once the udder is infected, the bacteria and mastitis damage the cells that produce milk. But fortunately, the cow has her own defenses called white blood cells. The white blood cells help to protect the cow when bacteria start attacking her milk cells. Her immune system sends these white blood cells down to the udder to attack the bacteria and mastitis. And what do we call the white blood cells in the udder? They're called somatic cells. These cells leave the udder when a cow gets milked and go directly to the tank. In fact, every time you milk a cow, the bacteria, mastitis, and somatic cells from each cow go straight into the tank and affect milk quality. That's why it's so important that you do a good job killing bacteria and preventing mastitis. The higher the somatic cell count, the worse the milk quality is. Here's the thing. Your boss and the company that buys the milk, they don't need to be watching 24 hours a day to know if you're doing a good job milking cows. The somatic cell count report tells us if someone does a poor job disinfecting a cow today, we'll know about it soon after because a cow typically gets mastitis. But the somatic cell count, that usually isn't affected for another couple of days. And you know what? For some reason, there tends to be more mastitis cows and higher somatic cell counts on Mondays and Tuesdays. What do you think happens on the weekend? Do you think the bacteria are working harder to get into the cow's udders just on the weekends? Or do you think it has more to do with people wanting to get done sooner so they can go out and hang out with their friends? Even though a cow has mastitis, she still needs to be milked. You see, sometimes after hearing that we don't want mastitis and somatic cells going into the bulk tank, some milkers decide not to milk infected quarters at all. Even though a cow has mastitis, you still need to milk her. Every day, you and your coworkers are responsible for keeping cows healthy so they can produce a lot of high quality milk. You can prevent mastitis and reduce somatic cells. Every time you're in the parlor, focus your efforts on killing and removing bacteria. The rest will take care of itself.